really digging the uh, <laughs> the new uh, intro stuff. Yeah, that's uh, L. Viler's handiwork there. He was generously donated that artwork. Yeah, welcome everybody yeah. to Hero Quest fans. We are getting set up for what is hopefully the end of the Glacial Gate. The next quest after this one looks to be one of the longest ones in the pack, so we're definitely not going to start that one tonight. I mean, if I had nothing else to do, I would definitely be like, sure, let's do it, but we wouldn't get far, I don't think. Now, things are going to look a little bit different just because I am using the actual board instead of Tabletop Simulator. This quest was begun or last played in Tabletop Simulator. It was, yeah, I guess we started with the board and then it was like the first half. The second half was Tabletop Simulator. And so now we're going to finish with the board and the official pieces. So we have a Barbarian. We have two Guardian Knights. And we have at least two mercenaries, I believe. Still alive. And an alchemist. Now people are pretty banged up. But uh, still around. Okay, what do we have? A Halbeardair. Do you recall Strange Bus? Um, oof, I could reference it, I think. Yeah, yeah, go to your channel real quick. Or I could, I don't want to. It's it's my stream here, I'll do. I'll just do it real quick here. I'm checking. Like, so are you asking, like, what our heroes are? Yeah. Because I, um, I have the character <laughs> sheets. I was just kind of looking to see like what mercenaries were still alive. Oh, um, I think we only had one left. And he was down to one body point, too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I believe so. Story so far. All right. So, we have been setting up here. So, this is the Glacial Gate. Um, and so, like I was telling um, Duma Montalto, I'm going to go ahead and just transfer all the loot that he just acquired to the Barbarian. So, he has got two healing potions, 1d6 each. He's got a potion of magic resistance. A potion of alchemy, which would turn one piece of equipment into 100 gold, basically. A toolkit, 250 gold, and a long sword. And the armband of ice as well. And bracers. Forgot about the bracers. Um, let's see here. Are you checking the video? Yeah. I'm wait. skimming through it. Oh, oh, there, whoa, oh. All right, get a good shot of it. There's so much activity, so much stuff moving around. Because I think that guy got I killed. I know, that's, that's, that's me. I'm so sorry. I was, like, jumping from moment to moment. Oh, no, you were, you I were like... great. I, I was like, wow, because you learned the system so quickly. Okay, so the, the alchemist, I'm seeing him. Yeah, I think it was just the halberd air. The only guy that lasted. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. So one mercenary, two knights. So we got four heroes and a, and a henchman. All right. So who's playing? Jacer, are you up? Anybody that wants to try to jump into the um, Discord quest chat is welcome to do so. Then we can talk if it works for you. Please drop into quest talk if you can. We do need to try that again sometime. That was fun. Oh, wow. Being Zargon was fun, though, too. Yeah. <laughs> it is, see? It's fun to be the bad guy. 
All right, so here we are. So, um, yeah. So we've got this. There's a pit trap right here. This is the ice slide. So this uh, guardian knight is going to have to try to jump that trap to get across. There's a, a room that's been searched. Well, no, it hasn't been searched for a lot of stuff. Only for traps, I think. And then we've got the uh, halberd air here. Got the alchemist here. Uh, the other guardian knight here. Barbarian here. And the darkness is lifted so you can actually see more stuff in the room. There is um, a weapons rack and there's a closed door. But the point of the glacial gate is you're looking for the wooden exit door. And this, this other half of the board has all been completely explored. Hey, guys. Hey, welcome. Elviler. Come on. Oh, not so much. <clears throat> Elviler wanted a night. I could take over the end of the night. Okay, so we've got Elviler and Jacer J and Strange Bus. You want to be the barbarian? The barbarian. Ah, uh, hope you didn't skip. The like strangest that. bus returneth. Yes. Yes, Sith. Indeed. All right, I'm going to go through everybody's stats. You're not going to like to hear this, but it must be said. <laughs> uh, strangest bus. Okay, you've got your battle axe. You've got your helmet and your chainmail. And I'm going to add bracers to your armor. Okay. Thank you, do my Montalto. So you've got five defense, four attack. From your original eight body, you're down to one. Oof. But you do have quite a lot of healing. So you've got the uh, you've got a healing plus four. You've got a potion of warmth, which would be one. Uh, you got to two holy waters. You got fr frost skin, which is defense. Um, that's the one that lasts as long as you can see monsters. So just a hint there. You've got your armband device, of course. Now there's, let's see, two other healing potions and a potion of restoration. Restoration restores all your lost body points. Um, the other two healing potions are 1d6. So you could take one and distribute them to the others, or you could hoard them all to yourself. I guess it's up to you. Well, I'll tell you what um, everybody else has. Yeah, for f before we find out, let's do the 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 restoration potion. Okay. All right. So you use that up, and you're back to eight. And then we'll find out where everybody else stands and what they have, and divvy it up as we go. Okay. All right. And you've got the potion of alchemy. All right, so um, Elviler, you wanted to be a knight. And Jacer J. Yeah, Bob's not here. Unless you guys want to... Well, one of you guys could control two heroes. Um. Or, or I could just take control of them just based on what you guys want them to do. So I'll just tell you, one of the knights has a battle axe. This is Knucklehead's old character. So he's got a battle axe, a so four attack. He's only got a helmet, so it's three defense. Um, he's used up all of his other skills. He's down to one body point. He has two potions of speed, and that's it. Um, the other knight, Blue Star's old character, has a broadsword and a crossbow. So each three attack. His defend dice are five because he has a shield and plate armor. Oh yeah, you've got an extra helmet. So you could give him a helmet. So he would have six. I mean, it's up to you. Uh, he's got Mighty Blow uh, as a skill card. And he's also got the Knight's Challenge. Which only works in situations of wandering monsters. He's down to four body points. He has a toolkit. He has a potion of strength, which is plus two attack. He has the elixir that heals one body point each turn for five turns. He's got a fire lance, so that's a single use uh, scroll card, alchemist item. And Bob the Alchemist, he is down to one body point as well. He has no more skills left. He is using the alchemist staff, which is two attack, 
including diagonal. He's got three armor because he has the alchemist cloak. He's got the snowshoes of speed, which let him walk over slippery ice and also have two squares of movement. But yeah, he's really weak right now. Can we give one of the potions to Bob? Okay. All right. I'll go ahead and uh, roll to see what what he gets restored. All right, so this is for Bob. Six. All right, so he is back to his maximum of four. Nice. Nicely done. What about uh, the other, what about Knucklehead the knight? Where is Knucklehead standing at? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> he is, he's in the room. No, oh. like what? What's his health? Sorry. Oh, he's uh, got one. Yeah, go ahead. All right. I know that there's a ten-second delay. Six. Wow, getting some good rolls tonight. Okay, so he's at seven, his maximum. Okay, so those two healing potions are used up. Um. Okay, so everybody's got something now. So we've got eight for Barbarian, seven for Knight, four for Knight, four for Alchemist. So Savage Sully just volunteered to play as the Alchemist. Excellent. Savage Sully. There we go. All right. Excellent. So here, this is Savage Sully, right? Whoops. <laughs> Camera. Savage Sully is right here. Strangest Bus is right here. And then um, Elviler, are you going to be th this one here? And then Jace or Jay, you're going to be this one here on the ice slide. Is that cool, guys? Sounds good to me. Okay. All right. So it is the Barbarian's turn. Um, the monsters have been eliminated, so the room is free to be searched. And pe of course, people in the chat can still uh, contribute if they would like, using their channel points. Anybody who is not playing actively as a hero can contribute, I should say. Um, so that would be Elverg, Fubar Jr. Yeah. Alright, so I'm rolling for you, Barbarian. Strange bus. Uh, yes. Alright. Thanks, guys, for joining us in HeroQuest fans. Glacial Gate, quest number four. Okay, seven. Okay, you've got seven. Mm -hmm. so, I remember. Okay. Um, let's head towards the closed door. Okay. Uh, which direction? Do you care? No. Okay. I think this area has been searched already. Oh uh, no, actually no, I don't know because you guys played a little bit. Um, oh yeah, let's just say it's been searched for traps already. Okay, so you're up to the door. Okay, can we let's go ahead and open it? All right, opening the door, revealing everything inside that doesn't require a search, that is. And you see a bookcase at the end of the room. There's also another door on the opposite side. There. All right, you still got movement left. Um, okay, let's... Uh... Head towards the... Let's go into the room. I guess, because if we search for treasure, it's pretty much searching the bookcase, right? Or do we have to search the bookcase? Well, when you search a room, you search everything in the room. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's walk into the room and search the room. Okay, what are you for, searching uh, for? For treasure. All right. Search for treasure. All right, you find two alchemist items in the bookcase. Ooh. Yep. I'm gonna find where I put that deck cards. Here we go. Alright, so two of them. Berserker Brew. 
So you get two extra combat dice, as long as you can see monsters. So that's one. Warmth. This item restores a healing warmth on yourself or any ally you choose, restoring up to three lost body points. Okay. All right. And since they are items, you can keep them for yourself or you can pass them to someone that's adjacent, as long as there's no monsters adjacent. Would these better? These probably be better suited for Bob, though, wouldn't they? Yeah, you might say. Any hero can use them, of course. Hey. Okay. Oh, something went blurry there. There we go. I was gonna say, don't don't die on me already. Just got this thing back together, <laughs> not gonna let something tear it apart. She'll hold together. Maybe she'll hold together. Hear, hear me, baby. Hold together. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not set up to do it, but it, it has the, the blinky bling lights that you can configure. It's probably not as cool as yours, but anyway. I've joined the uh, whatever community <laughs> of uh -huh. blink, blinky light people. Blink, blinky, <laughs> blinky light people? Yeah. There you go. The BLP. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's the end of your turn. Sorry for the delay, everybody. Okay. So we've got um, Elviler. All right. I'm assuming. I'm assuming I'm the one with only one body point left, right? No, you were healed to seven. Oh. Do you have your own dice, or am I rolling for you? I'll let you roll. Okay. Okay. Well, if I have some to spare, then I will uh, go up and enter the room. Seven. Oh, sorry. I didn't see it. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, All right. Let's go up and enter the room one, one space ahead of Strange Bus there. And oh. uh, then we'll search for traps. No traps. That's the thing, though, of course. If there was a furniture trap in that bookcase, then he would have sprung it just by searching. But yep. you never know. You never know. There could be multiple traps in the room. All right. Okay, next we've got um, Chaser J as the knight. Now this particular night, it was a dark and stormy night. I'm just kidding. Um, he's right there. And so you actually have a pit trap in front of you. So you're gonna have to try to jump the pit trap. So let's first make sure you got enough movement. Jacer, uh, I just rolled nine for you. Okay, so move eight, jump the pit trap. Thanks. Yeah, I should have been watching the chat. I'm sorry. Oh, bonus potion. I missed that. Okay. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I probably should have caught that myself. Yeah. <laughs> You can tell I'm just I'm getting a little bit a little bit tired here, but <laughs> show must go on. Okay, bonus already. Potion. I know. Look at you, old man. Cash it, cash it in early like that. Yeah. <laughs> getting a little uh, a little soft in the city. Okay, healing one red die. So I assume that's going to whoever wants it. I guess who wants the potion. <laughs> Um, Whoever's got the I least see. body points. Oh yeah, yeah that would be Jacer. <clears throat> Jacer gets one d six. All 
All right. Keeping, keeping us on track. Okay, so he's going to try to jump the pit. So we're going to roll one combat die for him. Skull. Unfortunately, you fell in. Ugh. Clunk. So that's... Jacer loses one, so good thing he took the potion. So he's down to three. That ends his turn. Of course, while in the pit trap, it can be searched on a future turn as a room and onto itself if you want to. It's not my fault if you fall into another pit inside it. <laughs> okay. Uh, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. You told me they fixed it. All right. So now the alchemist, who is now being controlled by Savage Sully. Oh, yeah. Dig it. All right, Sully. Oh, yeah. What is your move? I assume you don't have dice, so I can roll for you. I hear somebody talking. Your volume is really, really low. Volume too low. I hear him talking. <laughs> Sully. I can hear you, but it's yeah, like 1% volume. It's super volume. low. I like your icon, though. It looks like a <laughs> uh, like a little forest sprite with a wrench and goggles. Sully. I think you might... that any better? That's a little better, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I was asking about your dice. Uh, no? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, we can hear you. All right. Do you have your own dice, or do you want me to roll for you? need a couple of mm. d6s I don't know if he can hear you though hmm well he's in he's in quest talk hello hello hi hmm unstable internet ah yeah see that's what I was happening so um do you want me to roll for you Tell me your action. Now, if we had tabletop simulator, yeah, yeah, we could, we could do it. Okay, he just got four. I'm just pointing to your character there. You can either, uh, you could search the room for treasure. Um, you could just keep moving towards the door. I mean, you, you, can all, you can't go very far. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. You wanna search for anything? Okay. All right, very good. All right, so you have two options here. You can either search, now this is an exception, you can either take a card or you can search the weapons rack specifically and get a guaranteed piece of equipment. So equipment or a random card. Uh, search the... I can't quite hear him. Yeah, I need a, it's... So, equipment card. Alright, I can draw a random piece of equipment then. Helmet. Unfortunately, as the alchemist, you can't wear a helmet, but you've got one now. You could always 
sell it or give it to someone. Congratulations, you have this helmet. <laughs> yep. Okay. Actually, well, and so Strange Buffs, you have a helmet as well. So there's actually two spare helmets. So you could give one oh. of them to Jacer. Yeah, go ahead. Because uh, I didn't know who didn't have a helmet. So, yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. All right. Okay. Uh, well, I'll give it to him as soon as, as soon as he goes into the room. Okay, my turn, no monster, so barbarian. Sorry, guys, I'll try to move this along. Uh, ten. All right, strange bus. Hmm. Let's go t towards the... Uh the other um, shut door on our right. Yep. Oh, I need to keep track of this turn tracker. That's why I invented it. Okay. All right. Are you opening the door? I am. All right. Revealing everything inside. Now you have a long sword, but right now I have you equipping the battle axe, right? Yeah, because I think it does more damage. Yeah, it definitely does. I think you said. Okay, so there is, you can see a door on the other side. You also see a treasure chest here Ugh. getting to work out and of course of course you see a couple of polar war bears ready to go oh boy ready okay to rock this is this is a horrible 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 moment to, to like stop at a frozen horror oh you're gonna bail right now like <laughs> I got you Tune in next chill. week on the Rantcast, where I berate <laughs> the strange bots of why he would get us into danger like this and then <laughs> have to go. No, just kidding. Oh, no. Um, okay, yeah, these are pretty powerful monsters. Six body points each. Okay. And they have their this double attack. This is movement, right? Yeah. Oh, and by the way, we're back to playing my house rules rather than... Avalon Hills rules. <laughs> so, just, you know. Let's, uh... Hal the Beard Man. Oh, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. We still gotta move the Hal Beard guy. Okay, so... Hal Beard guy, who's controlling him? I think it was... It's you. I think it's my... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I... Thank you for reminding me. I totally forgot about him. Hal the Beard Man, I love it. He's got six squares of movement. So, is he gonna... Let's yeah. Let's charge the polar war bears. We'll just go all in. Two, we'll three, we'll do four, it strange five. bus style. Yeah, just like Beggars Canyon back home. Yep. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Good. Good call, guys. I I can't believe I forgot that. It's like oh, I'll just leave your uh, best guys behind. Okay. Um. All right. So barbarian boom and then boom. Well, technically you still have movement, right? Because you did. You just opened the door. So are you going to use the rest of your movement to go in and start fighting, or are you going to block the door and make them come to you? Do I have enough movement to go towards them and fight? Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can attack either one of them from pretty much any angle. Oh, yeah. Just remember, Let's there's do two it. of them. Oh well, yeah, they could they could both hug hug me and stuff, couldn't they? No, these are polar war bears. These are the guys with the double attacks. Remember? Oh sh yeah, okay. Um. Well, I just better hope some the, that uh, my uh, my quest mates will come in and. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just I'm I'm just uh, being mentor here and saying like, if you wanted to cash this in, you could give yourself that berserker brew. Two combat dice. Oh, 
as long as there are monsters in sight. Yeah, let's do that. Because, I mean, if you're not going to use it, you should probably give it to someone else to use. <laughs> nope. Yeah, let's... let's uh... All right. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So let's see. Uh, remove flask from pouch. Drink entire contents. All right. Okay, so now you get two. So you have six attack. Okay, so and you're going to move in and fight? Yeah. Okay, which which uh, which one are you going to attack? Uh, the one cl the one closest to me. Okay. Oh, Jacer J makes a suggestion. He says drink the frost skin potion as well. Cuz that one yeah. Let's see. Frost skin uh, only a barbarian is affected. Roll two extra combat dice defending as long as you can see monsters. So you'll have stronger defense as well. Okay. The only problem is if I let you use this, technically that uses an action. So you can't use it and attack. So you're going to be s stuck at the doorway. <clears throat> Alright. I mean, the monsters can't run I'll... away. I'll do that then. Just to be fair. Okay, so you use it. It's activated. You can see monsters. You drink the frost skin. So that's going to be seven defense, six attack. Wow, you're a tank now. All right. <laughs> okay, so now it is Elviler's turn. Um, did, did you attack or no? He did not attack. I did not. Okay. <clears throat> um, he did not hit them. He did not. He did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> he says to the to the knight. Okay, you got a seven. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up and stand beside the barbarian, not entering the room because that looks dangerous. All right. <laughs> Now, you only have a battle axe. Right. So it's not a diagonal weapon, but there you are. Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, maybe I should go behind him and then the then the mercenary can go beside. He's His, uh, his weapon attacks diagonally, right? That's true. Yeah, okay, let's go behind him then. <laughs> okay, I think giving, I've got enough movement to, uh, to do that. Giving him you don't want to... Uh... You don't want to go in there and join the fun, Elviler? Um, yeah, I don't want to die. Like an uncommon <laughs> feat, he just shoves him into the room. It lands <laughs> right on the grenade. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, the in barbarian's there. leaving in a minute. That's not good for morale. Yeah. <laughs> so easy your passing. Okay. Yeah. All, All right. right. Let's search for uh, secret, uh, secret doors. All right. You search for secret doors and... Find nothing. Cool. All right. Moving right along, we've got uh, Jacer J. Okay, we got seven. So Jacer J is in the pit right now. Jacer, are you going to join the action? Rolled seven. Run. Okay. Um, I was checking to see if he had a potion of speed, but no, he doesn't. He's got a strength potion. He's got the elixir. He's got a bunch of stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So he made it halfway around the uh, torture rack there. All right. Okay, Savage Sully as the alchemist. Maybe if I turn my music down really low, I'll be able to hear you. 
Uncommon feet. Roll one extra die. Okay. All right. Let's. Sorry. Let's do Jacer's uh, uncommon feet. Fifty percent chance. Rolls a skull. He gets it. Oh, it's a white shield. I'm sorry. Good try though. Good idea. Okay. Um. All right. Savage Sully, the alchemist. Here you are. I'll roll for your movement. Sorry you're having sound issues tonight. Eight. Okay, rolled an eight. Savage, what do you think? The thing Can is... Oh, yeah, you're coming through perfectly now. There you go. Nice. Whatever you did. <laughs> Good job. Unfortunately, yeah, switched off my headphone and put my um, streaming mic on. All right, so I'm the, the slightly maroon-colored mini there. That's right. Okay, I would like to move up uh, next to the left of the barbarian. Adjacent from the door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Perfect. Anything else? Uh, and has the room's been searched for, for traps, right? Um. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it has. Okay, I'll uh, search for treasure. All right. That's the potions deck. Whoops. <laughs> that would be a kind of an alchemist thing to do, but no. Gold! Okay. You find a loose stone and tear it from the wall. Behind it, you discover a small leather pouch wrapped in an old rag. Peering inside, you find 25 gold coins. I have done house rules in the past where, like, the alchemist is a little more savvy, and so, like, certain rooms he'll draw a potion instead of a regular treasure like an alchemist bench but um yeah gold is still helpful it's 25 so formerly you had none so now you have 25 all right okay my turn right all right um, yeah Polar war bear number one moves one, two, three, snarling and growling as he goes. And he gets to attack with four, because of course he does. Attacking the barbarian, and he got two skulls. But now, being the tank, you roll seven defense. <laughs> So first we'll roll six. Uh, ching! You got one. And we'll roll one more. Ching! Okay, so you blocked them both. Nicely done. All right. The other polar war bear is going to just kind of move up behind. One, two, three. And that's all I can do. All right, Strange Bus, still with us? I am still here. All right. Wanted to get into some combat before I... Uh, it's ready for some You action. know, un unfortunately ducked out on you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's see. You attack with six dice. Yeah, let him have it. Let him have it. Hit him with everything I got. All right, um, you got one skull. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. All right, let's see. He defends with... Oh, I forgot to do the second attack for the polar war bear. Whoops. 
Okay, one skull. Let me let me just defend. Okay, sorry, my bad. Um, he only attacked once. Okay, so I only have three defend dice. I hear somebody talking. No defense. He took a hit. It wasn't a critical hit though. Okay. So where do I stand? Um. Did one damage to him, but technically he should have been able to attack one more time. So I'm going to roll. Let's see, you had two defend dice, ching ching, and then I should get to roll one more time against you. So you d you defended as much as you possibly could already. So anything, this is going to be like a free. Oh, shoot. Four skulls. Looks like I'm oh, shooting no. you, but I'm not. So. I, I should have applied that retro. So you're down to half damage now. You're at four body points. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Yeah, they each they get two attacks every turn. Not can, but they they get two attacks. Okay. Do I have any? Well, I have to use a potion on my turn, wouldn't I? Uh, you can use a potion any time. Do I have any potions left? You've got a plus four. Yeah, you could heal yourself back to full if you wanted. Um, yeah, let's do that. All right, so you're back up to eight. And glug, 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 glug. with that, I have to <laughs> have to go. All right, man. Thanks I'm, for joining us. I'm, what you could, I'm what so you could. sorry. Hey, good game. Strange Boss, you have a great night. Yeah, I, uh, I will. I definitely will. And um, I will uh, check out I'll see you guys on... Uh, I'll see you guys on the. Well, I'll see you for the Rancast on Friday, and yeah. Uh, yeah. back to regular, back to regular stuff. And I'll be here again on Saturday. So, cool. are you doing more stuff tonight? Or are you? <laughs> um, yeah. So that's pretty much where I'm going. Um, okay. I'm trying to see if I can get to bed earlier. Um, the all nighters. I'm probably going to get told by my doctor that I need to stop pulling all nighters. Uh -huh. um, it's probably why I had that the that big medical incident that I had on Sunday. Well, I decided to go into Sunday, so. your streams are awesome, uh, but we'd rather have you around than just yeah. have constant, awesome all night streams. So, yeah, I'm lucky I didn't break anything. So I, I, uh, I appreciate everybody for, uh, for joining and stuff. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys have fun. Um, I'll see you guys later and, uh, take care everybody. All right. Take take easy, man. Well, good night. Night. Yeah, I was going to say, if he was doing a stream, we could always raid him, but uh, we'll see. Um, okay. All right. So we just got a redemption for a bonus mercenary. Wow. Oh, man. Let me just uh, let me just check. Um, sub for the bus. Yeah. Okay. So what kind of mercenary should we get, I wonder? Let's see. So one, two, three, four... He's going to get here in eight turns. <laughs> it's going to be a while. The fighting might be over by that time. I'll still do it. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Fubar, it's it's not necessary. We're, we're just going to let the barbarian keep fighting. Like, I wasn't going to just snatch him out of the quest. That'd be pretty cheap. Because, I mean, he's got all that stuff going. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Strange Bus. Um, okay, well, if, if that's what you meant, then we can just save the mercenary for another time. So the barbarian is still with us. Just someone else is going to take control of him. Do we have any volunteers? Or I could just move him and you could just tell me what you think he should do. You guys confer amongst yourselves. Okay. So where are we now? Um, so Strange Bus did his thing, and now we've got Elviler. Uh, 
Let's see here. Can't do a whole lot. He didn't move out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> he left, but he didn't get out of the way. What is this yeah. guy doing? Come on. Now he's just kind of a big get statue. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, your guy doesn't have to do anything. I mean, yeah. you've, ar- you've already searched the room, so. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess I'll. Oh, the halberd guy can still go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. Who's going to move him? Um, whoever wants to. Hey guys, where where should I put the halberd guy? Put him next to the wizard. All right. Halberd moves six, and he attacks with three. Actually, he would be a better guy to be in the in the diagonal. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So there he is. Um, okay. So next we've got Jacer J, who's down to three body points. And he is right here in this room. So let me roll for your movement. Five. It's five. All right, Jacer. It doesn't get me there, but it gets me closer. Okay. One, two, three, four, five into the room. Okay, well, you're in the room now. I mean, you could search for it, for stuff if you wanted. Do you want to... If you do search, you can either get a treasure card or you could get an equipment card. Search for equipment. Okay. Broadsword. It's wide blade. Gives you attack strength of three combat dice. Now, you, I believe, have a better weapon than that already. I you think already, I just have a, you have a, have broad a broadsword. Sword. Yeah, so now you've got two broadswords. So I guess you could sheathe one of those and sell it off later. Broadsword. All right. Trade it to the barbarian for the longsword. <laughs> If you get within range, you can. That's a good thought. Um, okay. Savage. Okay. Uh, attack the uh, attack diagonally. Yep. All right. Am I rolling for your combat dice as well? Uh, no, I've got dice. All right. So it's two right. attack dice, right? Two standard white attack dice. Yes, sir. Uh, two skulls. Nice. That was, I, I heard you rolling it, too. It's got a good good sound. Okay, two skulls. All right. Monsters, believe it or not, only have, with as much pow- attack power as I have, they only have three defense. Of course, they have six body as well. Uh, ching! And you said three? Two skulls. Two skulls. Okay, so he blocked one. He took one damage. Nice. I sh- shouldn't have put away all my skull tiles. All right. So he's got four left. Yeah, it's a boss fight, essentially. Okay, now, do you want to move out of the way? Or, well, on the... Uh, yeah. I don't know. It, it's up to yes. you. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking I would move back um, two spaces. Okay. I assume you're going to roll at least a two, but do you have your own movement dice as well? Yes, I can roll that. Sweet. Just for just for laugh. Because it's fun to roll dice. Uh, double four. Okay. So you just want to move back one? Uh, move back two. Okay. All right. Monster's turn. All right, so that polar war bear is going to unleash single attack and since you're back to your normal volume i'm gonna crank this music up a little bit royalty free music okay so the war bear is attacking the barbarian two skulls and he defends with seven due to the frost skin 
two skulls. Ching ching, he blocked them both, and he gets one more. Okay, no more, and then, oh, see, it's just like before. See, I should be rolling at the end, but it, I mean, he, he only got, uh, yeah, I'm breaking my own roll, because I'm getting confused with the, uh, the Avalon Hill rolls. The way I'm doing it is I'm supposed to say, okay, he does the two attacks, then you roll at the end to see what you get. And this music is awesome, but I'm going to turn it down just to... There we go. Okay, so this is the second attack. And it's two skulls, and he has no defense, so he takes two. That's actually how they... Apparently how they intended it. I don't think it's very good, but... Uh, okay, so he's down to six. You see, there's the way Avalon Hill fixed it, and then there's the way, like, the Milton Bradley guys would have done it, but then they changed it at the last minute to a way that was not very good. So it's still improved, just not as good as it could have been, I think, personally. That's neither here nor there. Not here to rules lawyer. Okay, uh, so after that, I can move this monster out of the way. This is an old trick the Zargon pulls. And then the other monster moves forward to do two more attacks. So he does a four, and this time I'm going to do it right. Okay, so one skull, and now he rolls the second attack. Two skulls, so it's a total three skulls. Now he defends with seven. Three skulls. Uh, three, four, oh wow. Five. I don't know about you guys, but that's a lot of white shields. <laughs> I think now <laughs> would be the time to do uh, some kind of wrestling move. So anybody want to choose a professional wrestling attack for him to do on the uh, monster? Anybody. I think it's the perfect time to stun him through the door. All right. So he uh, he uh, gives him a boot to the gut and then just like slams him to the ground uh, by grabbing his head and doing a weird like twisting maneuver. Bang! Okay, so he takes uh, one damage. Somewhere you hear the sound of shattering glass. Ugh. Oh, that's the sound of shattering teeth. Yep. He's got a lot of sharp teeth to shatter, too. Oh, DDT. See, that would have been cool, too. Okay, so, or he could have uh, just reached his arm around and just, like, Wah! and just, bam, his head right into the pavement. Crack. Either way, he's, he's, he's missing some teeth now. All right. Excellent. Okay, so that was that was the monster's turn. So now it's the barbarian's turn. Because that was just kind of like a freebie thing that we came up with on our own. When you just when you roll a lot of defense, which is so rare, it's going to work for the monsters too. I mean, if they roll a bunch of black shields, I'm going to do it in their favor. All right, let's see. Uh, what do you think, guys? He would probably just stand in the door and keep attacking, right? I think he would attack once and move over. Ah. Move over one, let hit, let only one come in and get attacked by two or three people. Oh, I see, because he'd still have monsters in sight, so his stuff wouldn't wear off. Smart. Okay, so he attacks with... That way the halberd guy can go in, can move over and hit kill. diagonally, too. Plan. Just, just totally maximize damage. Okay, three skulls. All right, so he only defends with three. Ching! Got took two two more damage. Yes, these monsters are tough. Glacial Gate. This was a long quest, but the next quest is even longer. So, thanks guys for joining us on this adventure. All right, and you think he should move out of the way? Stay within sight. Okay. So, like, move to the side here. Oh, you're not even seeing. Sorry. Okay, so move to the side here. 
away from the door. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, that way his halberd guy can move right behind him there, between him and the wizard. Okay. Alright, so we moved aside. Now, um... Elviler. What are you going to do? Uh, let's put the uh, the mercenary in the spot uh, to oh. fill that gap there in the, the diagonal first. You're right. Um, wait a minute. So the doorway is down here. He would be right in the doorway. He would oh, Sorry, be between the... Uh, b between the... Uh, right here? The wizard and... Nope, put him in the uh, the spot between the wizard and the barbarian. Oh, I see. You're creating a, a like a trap. I get it. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. All right. So he went there. Okay. And now you're a regular guy. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, I'm just going to take this turn to taunt the polar war bear from where I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're gonna taunt him. Yeah. Okay. Can I can I do uh, damage to his uh, mind points by hurting his pride? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> no. He he just uh, he shrugs it off. Yeah. Too dumb anyway. <laughs> two mind points. Maybe you roll two uh, combat dice. All right, well, is this an uncommon feat? I guess it's worth a shot. All right, roll one combat die. Uh, I don't have access to mine. Oh, you don't have it, sorry. Yeah, got no worries. We don't all have dice. Well, they're just across the room, and my cord is very short. Oh, look, you threw them. In the European version, it says throw dice. It doesn't say roll. It says throw. Yeah. Like, well, when you're kids, it's a lot of fun. Oh, unfortunately, you failed. So you, you tried to do it, and he just he thought it was so comical, he just, like, laughed it off. <laughs> and nothing, nothing happened. All right. It's like, your mother smells bad. And he's like... Yes, I know. <laughs> Except it sounded like... <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay, so now we've got... Um, Chaser. All right. What, what do I got for movement? Okay. All right, got five. Uh, and see, I'm, I'm not even looking at the... Let, let's just move this out of the way. I'm not even looking at the turn counter anymore. I'm getting tired here. I got up earlier than I usually do on, on a Saturday. Okay, so you got five for movement. Yes, get me as close to the door as you can. Five. You're not quite there yet. You skipped leg day. Unless you want to try that uncommon feat for another ro roll of the die. Yeah, yeah, actually, let me do that. <laughs> Maybe I can get next to the wizard and he can give me a helmet, and then I can get next to the barbarian and he can give me a longsword. <laughs> hey, just get everything. And you can MacGyver them together into, like, a, a primitive firearm and just, like, shoot him right in the head. Oh, you failed again. I'm sorry. All Slash right. not sorry. I but it would have been cool. <laughs> Definitely skip leg, Doug. Okay. All right, Savage. All right, so um, as the alchemist, are there any spells that I have? Because I'm not familiar with the character. Yeah, um, you had a bunch of them. And when Bob was controlling them, he was just like dishing them out like there was no tomorrow. Very effectively, I might add. 
and he has used them all up. So right now he's wearing the snowshoes of speed, he's got his staff, he's wearing the cloak and that's it. He has no other abilities. Okay, um, I guess uh, roll to move. Uncommon search that bookshelf. Oh, you yeah, you could try an uncommon feat to like MacGyver something up, and I don't know, think of something. Um, okay, so how do the uncommon feats work? Okay, you give me something that could plausibly be done in the game, like in the this fantasy world of the game. Then you'll roll one combat die, and if it's a skull. You succeed. If it's not, it fails. And if it fails, I get to decide what happens. So it's very open ended. Okay, so could I, like you said, search the bookshelf for something useful? Potion, book, recipe, something like that? Hmm. Okay. Alright. So roll a combat die. Oop, that's too many. Hold on. <laughs> Just one. Just one. Yep. It's a black shield. Uh, unfortunately, you found like some interesting books, and you kind of started reading them, and you got distracted. Uh, you lost track of time, but yeah, you didn't really find anything that was going to be really useful uh, for the combat, unfortunately. Wah, wah, wah. You found some good recipes for brownies, though. <laughs> now, if you survive, maybe those could come in handy. <laughs> All right. Okay, monster's turn. Good try, though. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, oh man, these monsters. Okay, so this 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 monster over here is gonna walk into the room. Yeah, and they just fall over because they've got these stacks of tiles they're standing on top of. So the one that's only taken two damage is gonna walk into the room. Because he's, he's got low mind points, all right? He launches into the room. And he's going to attack the barbarian. So first attack. He got two skulls. Second attack. Um... Oh, he could do something different. I think he's going to attack uh, Elviler with the second attack. Because he can do that. Yay. Yeah. Doesn't have to be the same target. Because he knows that the one guy seems hard to kill. So two skulls. Um, okay, so now the two and two. Oh, that would have been nice. Okay, so first Strange Bus is going to defend against the two with his seven. And he rolls one more. He got ching ching, so he blocked them both. Okay, so now Alviler, you have two skulls against you, and you just looking at your character sheet, you've got three defense. So are you rolling or am I rolling for you? Here, let me see if I can reach my dice. Alright. A common feat to see if he can reach the dice. Okay, he has to reach the dice to be able to roll them to see if he could reach them. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, I got him. Okay, three defense, right? Uh, yeah, you got three defense. Well, if I was a monster, I'd be good. I got a black shield. Nothing else. <laughs> nope. Oh crap! Okay, so you took two hits. So now Ouch. you're down to down to five. Still got a lot of health, but still. All right, you're right in the line of fire. Okay, well, the other monster can't really do anything, so he's just going to stay put. Okay. Stay put. Okay. Barbarian. Barbarian. All right, have him just keep attacking, guys. Yeah. All right. So yes. Attacks the, excellent. Attacks the target of opportunity. Attacking the war bear. And he got one, two skulls. Monster defends with three. Oh, you didn't see that. Two skulls. Monster defends with three. Ching! And he gets hit by the other one. <coughs> Takes another hit of damage. So he's taken three. He's down to half body. And 
And yes, the board would be just as crammed if you were using the remake uh, board and miniatures. So we did some damage. Okay. So that Halbeard. Halbeard attacks next. Yep. So he attacks with three. Three skulls. Ooh, nice. It's a good hit. Fine hit. Okay, monster defends with three. No defense. Got him. Got him. He goes down. So one of the war bears has been defeated. Nice. All right. So after the halberd guy is um, Elviler. Elviler the Knight. Yeah, how many body points does that polar war bear have left? Uh, three. Three. Uh, how many attack dice have I got? Okay, you've got four. Suppose I could give it a try. No, I'll let him come into the kill box. <laughs> right. All right. I'll just taunt him again. Is that an uncommon feat taunt or just a generic <laughs> taunt? Just a generic taunt. I learned my <laughs> lesson the first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, next we've got... Uh, Jacer. Hey, almost almost called you J-Star. Alright. <clears throat> Rolling for movement. Six. Six. Now you can finally get into the room. Alright. I guess put me uh, north of the alchemist. Four or five here. Yeah. I can zoom in because you're all in there. Alright. Any other actions? Uh, what kind of potions do I have? Uh, let me see. I know I have the healing potion. Yeah, you've got the elixir that heals one per turn for five turns. You've got the fire lance... Um, Ask the uh, trade the fire lance to Bob for the helmet. And you got a strength potion. Okay, I'll let you give him the. Uh... Oh, I get it. Okay, so you give him the fire lance, and then on his turn he can pass a helmet. Perfect. Okay, and and I'm is the alchemist Bob? Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, Alchemist okay. Sully, Bob. Cool. Nice, nice Got to it. meet you. <laughs> like, <laughs> finally met each other on the quest. All right. Um, excellent. Excellent. Strategery. I like it. Okay. So, Bob's turn. And you're going to pass him the helmet? Yes. Trade him the helmet. And I've got the Fire Lance now? Yes. Okay. So now he defends with six. So the Fire Lance is equivalent to Fire of Wrath. You can launch it at any monster you can see. It does one body point of damage unless they can immediately roll a five or a six on one uh, movement die. Okay. But you'll have to move in range now, if you want to use it. Is that a, like a one use kind of thing? Or Single I can keep use. using it? Single use. Okay. All right. Um, I guess I will roll the move. That's a 11. 11. Which I don't need that much. Um, now, what's the range on the Fire Lance? Or is that... In unlimited. But the problem is, once you move and then do your action, you can't do the rest of your movement. So you're going to be in the line of fire. So the question okay, is... But if, if, if I move behind the knight, 
can I can I shoot through him without harming him? I would say no, unless you do an uncommon feat, like he ducks out of the way, or you push him out of the way while you. Okay. Um... Normally, you can't. I haven't shoot been so today. lucky in the uncommon feat department today. Yeah, wow. not 50%. not so far. Um, and yeah. I guess I will just move over behind the knight. Was he here or was he here? I kind of forgot in all the excitement. He was literally like straddling the two squares. That's my fault. I'm going to say he was there. How about that? Okay. Well, then I'll just, oh, yeah, move move down next to the doorway. Or no, he would have been here because the monster was trapped. Okay. Uh, so you're going to move to the doorway? Yes, the one to the south there. The south. Okay. Oops, boom, boom. And you're going to try the uncommon feat? Um, I don't think so. I don't want to endanger the knight, so I'll just I'll pass at this point. Okay. All right. If you're done, it's my turn. All right, Zargon's turn. Polar Warbear steps forward. He's he's uh, he's wounded, but he's still he's still dangerous. All right. And he's going to uh, direct. Let's see. He's going to direct one of his attacks at Chaser. One skull. And uh, you know what? He's going to direct his second attack at him as well. Three skulls, so a total of four skulls, and you've got six defense. So I'm rolling for you, right? Yep. All right. Four skulls. Ooh, ching, and you take three hits, and you're dead, and you're dead. But you do have a D6 healing, or you've got the elixir that gives you one per turn for five turns. Which one did you want to use? Before you There's lose a D6 consciousness. One. Okay, before you lose consciousness, you chuck that in and see what you get. Four. At least you didn't get a one. Okay, so you come back with four. Don't die that easily. All right. My turn is over. Barbarian. Strangeth bus who had to go, but we're mm -hmm. still controlling his character. I assume he's just going to keep on keep on fighting. Uncommon feet. Until he sees a, doesn't see a monster anymore. What's, what's the uncommon feat? Uh, so would it be possible for the barbarian to try to, like, grapple him and maybe he could either miss or reduce... Uh, his next attack roll by like one or something. Hmm. Interesting. Now he has two attacks, so just one of them would be reduced by one, so it'd be like three and four instead of four and four. Okay. What do you think? Is that what you want it to be? Um. Yeah, that sounds good. Or just nullify one of his attacks completely. Well, that, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Just helping you out here. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. he'll attempt to grapple him, and if he can grapple him, he'll only be able to do one attack instead of two. Of course, the question is, how will he get out of it? But Let's say he just does it for one turn. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll roll, see if it happens. Oh, failed. Yeah, these uncommon feats. Okay, so you, you try to grapple him, but he does the little, like, maneuver thing where he, like... Ugh! He kind of wriggles out of it. It's like, shoot. Okay. Darn it. His fur is all, like, slick from all the blood and everything, so we just kind of, like, sl slipped out of it. All right. There's so many yetis that he tried to <laughs> use their move and uh, yeah. hasn't quite mastered it yet. No. It's, it needs more practice, more training. 
See there, you can make a character like a wrestler character and you would have like different grapples and stuff. I don't know, you could think about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, Halberd. Halberd. Yeah, reducing the defense for return would be interesting as well. But um, Okay, so Halberd guy is going to attack. Two skulls. No defense. Oh, he's down to like one body point now. Have the halberd guy move up one then. Move where? Move him up one. That way um, the oh. uh, wizard oh. can get in there. Yeah. The alchemist can get in. Good, good call. Okay. All right. Um, Elviler. All right, I finally get to swing at something. <laughs> <laughs> finally. All right, four attack. Yes. I got three skulls. Wow. I'd take a picture, but I don't have my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll trust you. All right. <laughs> Heroes don't fudge their dice rolls. Okay. So you got four? No, three. Three. Okay. Yeah, I'm just testing you. Okay, got three. All right. Um, well, I only have three defense. <laughs> Ching. <laughs> Down he goes. <laughs> got him. That monster has been destroyed. After a hard nice. fought battle, took <clears throat> him down. You know, and earlier I had the fail trombone. I, I try not to go crazy with the sound effects this, these days, but... Okay, all right. So after that, uh, whose turn is it? Is it... Um, is it Bob now? Uh, I think it was... Or Jacer. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, I'll move to next to the Barbarian. Okay. Try sure. to trade in that broadsword for a longsword. I'm sure you'll get at least two. Sorry, we've gone 40 minutes over. That's why I'm so tired. Boxcars! Hey! All right. Jeezer. All right. So he's asking for the broadsword. Or, I mean, for the longsword. Um... Okay, Bob, what are you going to do on your turn? Okay, well, I was <clears throat> I was getting the uh, Fire Lance all ready to go, so it's got to cool off for a little bit. So I will roll the move. <laughs> yeah, you were ready, though. Yep. It's like if his body... Uh, See, you know, darn it, because there is a card that I can sometimes get from the, uh, the Chaos deck where it's like the guy comes back with like one more body point. It would have been perfect, but you can still keep it. <laughs> like, he gets up, and then you're like, Posty! Yeah. Okay. So, I rolled a five to move. Okay, I didn't need to roll for you. All right. And where are you going? Um, let's see, hold on. My stream's a little slow. All right, there we go. Um, move... Uh, directly towards the door. That's one, two, three, four, five. So, one over to the east from the door. Oh, into the room? Yes. Okay. All right. All right, anything else? Uh, one more over. Eastward. Yep. And then uh, search for traps. 
No traps. Okay. All right, and I have no monsters, so we're back to the barbarian. So now his frost skin has worn off, and his uh, berserker brew has worn off. So he's back to four for attack and five for defense. Because there are no more monsters present. All right, what should we have him do? Hopefully give me a longsword. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, he passes the longsword to... Oh, to, um, to Jacer, okay. Longsword. So you got three diagonal now. It's upgrading. Did he search that room for treasure? Uh, which room? Yeah, he got that uh, brew and something else. Oh, yeah, yeah. The bookcase okay. room has been searched. Okay, cool. I'm having to consult my notes. Hey, definitely here. walk in that next room and search for treasure. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'm just checking my notes here. Okay, I'm ready. All right, uh, sorry. So the you want the barbarian to go into that room and search? I think that's what he would do. All right. Yeah. That's what he would have wanted. Seven. I concur. Excellent. And that's how we got you killed. Oh, just One, two, <laughs> three. All right. And before searching, well, let's see. You already searched for traps, so it's safe. So you, at least you did that. You did him that courtesy. You did him that solid. Okay, so he's going to search for trap, or search for treasure. Searching for treasure. Okay, so in this room, in the treasure chest, you find a couple of things. You find two potions of healing. So it's plus four each. So 2x healing, plus four, and... You find 300 gold coins. So he's now got 1,100 gold. Because he had some before. Ooh. So he's made out like a bandit. Alright, excellent. Okay, uh, Halbeard guy. Should he just go into the room with him? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. This epic music its driving me on. Okay. All right, Elviler. All right, let's uh, go into the room. Or we'll roll first, I guess. Yeah. I only need two to make it there. It's great when you guys have your own dice, because it's like as much fun as I have rolling, like it does, I do kind of get tired by the end. I'm just like, man, I'm just rolling and rolling. Who am I rolling for? Just rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. And I rolled a two. <laughs> All right. So you got at least what you needed. Yep. All right. We'll go in and uh, well, I guess I'll search for secret doors. All right. Good call. No secret doors. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah. But at least now you know. Yep. All right. Jace. All right. Uh, I guess move me five in that room. Oh, you rolled five? Yep. Excellent. I'm not doing any better with my dice. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Five. Now, just out of curiosity, are you guys using like uh, your own dice, or using the remake dice, classic dice? What are you using? Uh, I'm using the remake dice for the movement, and I'm using the classic for. I just pulled them out for any attacks, but nice. hopefully nothing else comes out at the moment. Yeah, I've just got the remake ones. Yeah. What the... Yeah, I have the remake dice as well. Yep. I have I have so far not used them at all. <laughs> I've only used <laughs> these plastic dice or yeah, these uh, these board games maker dice, which I am disappointed in. But yeah, I'll probably paint the symbols back on and just 
realize, learn from my mistake. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so um, you're in the room, sorry, you're in the room, and I, I forgot, what was your action? Oh, you search for uh, secret doors. Search for treasure. They got doors and traps already. Okay, so you're searching for treasure, all right. Um, okay, so since it's the the one's already been found, it's gonna be a gonna be a card. Gold amidst old rags, tattered fur robes, and soiled blankets, you find a collection of fifteen gold coins. Record the money on your sheet. Sounds good. Yep. Gold. So you've got fifty now. You had thirty-five before. Okay, and Bob. All right, so roll to move. That is a six. Um, I want to move up to the door, three, four, and open the door. Okay, you open the door. And I'm gonna poke my head through and see what I can see on either side. All right, so you step through and now you can see on both sides. And uh, hold on guys, I gotta get the other board. Just a minute. No, I'm kidding, <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> Not at this stage. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. This isn't, the, this isn't the dark company. Although it would be interesting to try that someday. All right, so there is a stone wall here the edge hope you can see that it's not straight to the right and then to the right um you're gonna see the edge well you see the edge of a stone wall already and wouldn't you know it you see the wooden door that leads out of this forsaken place So, um, has, um, you know, coming in the way I am, like, towards the end of it, is it, um, wise to go ahead and move through the door? What does the rest of the party think? Uh, just maybe search for traps, just in case there's a gotcha at the end. <laughs> you know I don't know what else to well. say. There's, it's only we've, four spaces, but they could be deadly. We've learned, <laughs> if we've learned anything about the creators of these quests they they didn't care if you thought it was unfair or they just <laughs> didn't have the time to really realize what was going on well i will defer to his advice and stay right there and go ahead and search for traps okay no traps smart though <laughs> yeah it's like each square is <laughs> more deadly than the last you just got this pile of dead heroes right at the door it's like dang it it's like when you're playing like a first person shooter and you just get like nailed by somebody and your dead body like falls onto the health pack. And you're like, Argh! I was so close. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. No monsters. So barbarian. I'll just roll for him here. Full sprint. All right. Even though he skipped leg day. Six. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he's almost there. Almost there. Okay. Halbeard guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right at the door. That's hilarious. Well, if there had been traps there, <laughs> he hadn't searched already. Okay. Um, all right. Now... Elviler. And I rolled a five. We'll get as close to the door as we can, I guess. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And Jace. All right. Uh, uh, eight. Okay. You want to head out the door? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> He's escaped the quest. Open the door. <laughs> door 
door opens. As long as there are no more polar war bears on the other side, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get ambushed by a huge army. It's like, what? This is ridiculous. Okay. I uh, set up camp and booby traps. <laughs> yeah. Let's wait them out. Siege. Okay, uh, Bob, the uh, alchemist who is controlled by Savage Sully. All right, so that is a eight all the way out the door. One, two, three. Ba, 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 ba. All right. All right, join me at the campfire. All right. See you at the party, Richter. <laughs> all right, so nine. I think the barbarian's safe to leave. <laughs> out of the quest. And last, but not least, our friend, your friend and mine, Elviler. Please don't take two more turns to get out of this place. <laughs> one. Okay. One. Six. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> one, two, three. All right, and we're just going to loop back to the Halbeard guy, and he's going to take out. Slam that door shut behind you. All right, the Glacier Gate has been completed. All right, so you made it out of there. So everybody is fully restored. So Alchemist has four. Knights are both restored to seven each. Barbarian is restored to eight. Halbeard guy is back to two. Frank was his name. Frank is his name. (laughs) And he made made it out of there with quite a bit of gold, so... Let me just... I'm definitely not going to start up the next quest tonight. Thank you very much. But it's been a great... Mm -hmm. It's been a lot of fun here on HeroQuest fans. I appreciate you guys all stopping by. Joining us for this great night of questing. And I'll just kind of give you a running total. I can put the stats in later. But um, let's see. So, Strange Bus got 1,100 gold... And he's still got a lot of potions. And let's see. Uh, so yeah, he has a potion of warmth, two holy waters, his armband of ice, of course, his shield, his chainmail, his helmet, bracers. Um, battle axe. He never needed his hidden reserves. Those will be reset anyway. So it's a new one each time. He still has the warmth scroll. Or alchemist item. Um, let's see. El Viler. He made it out of there with 295 gold. And uh, two potions of speed. Um, let's see. Battle axe, helmet. And that was pretty much it. Okay. And then Jacer. Made it out of there with 50 gold. And he's got a toolkit, a potion of strength, that elixir again. Um, helmet, two broadswords, crossbow. I gave one of those broadswords to a uh, strange bot so he could sell it. Oh, okay. For the long sword. Fair enough. Okay, so one broadsword, crossbow, shield, helmet, plate armor. That mighty blow will be reset. Um, and I think that's yeah, that's everything. Okay, and then uh, Savage Sully, the alchemist. He has the alchemist staff, the alchemist cloak, and he's still got the fire lance. It's not been used up. Snowshoes, a speed artifact, and he has 25 gold. So that's a grand total of 1470 for the party. You're on July 16th, 2022, if you're watching this on the replay. All right, well, congratulations, guys. I know it was only part of a quest, but it still felt like uh, pretty decent. I mean, we, we went, what, two hours? So I underestimated that one a little bit. Yeah, that was fun. That was great, though. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah, so yeah, it, was a, it fit perfect after the other quest. Now you guys have all played Hero Quest before, right? This wasn't anybody's first game. 
Yep. Yeah, I played four. Nice. Yes. Back in the day, or just uh, since the remake days? Uh, a mix of both. Okay. Uh, never as a hero before, though. Ah, see. Well, except last week when we uh, were on tabletop simulator. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I <clears throat> back in the day, my brother and I played um, when we were kids. He was usually Zargon, um, and he really liked doing it. Um, since doing all this, I've almost always been Zargon. So whenever I get to be a hero, it's definitely a special treat. But yeah, it's cool because every every Zargon does does, does things a little differently. But yeah, it's a good time. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to clean up. So everybody have a good one. Definitely check us out. Uh, Twitch.tv slash HeroQuest fans. Also XSC3, home of HeroQuest fans on YouTube. 24 hours after the stream ends, we can post it up on YouTube. That's just the way the affiliate program works. If you like it, if you like our content, please join us here, follow. Um, if you want to sub, that'd be great. Not required. Um, definitely check us out, HeroQuest fans, Discord as well. Uh, I think you guys are all in there, so I'm preaching to the choir here. But anyway, and check out Strange Bus. Um, let's just, see, I'm just curious if he is streaming. It looks yeah. like he is. Uh, okay. All right. We're going to end the, ch we're going to end the stream here and we're going to go ahead and raid him <laughs> for however long he's up. Oh, cool. Somebody's using a projector. Oh. Nice. I love it. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good game. Good night. And just go ahead and, uh, right. if, you, if you want, just go ahead and uh, in the chat, we're going to have you join the raid. All right.